Summer is a time full of flower blossoms and lush greens. I know you must be so excited to paint all these beautiful wonders of nature. So today I want to share with you some tips on how to choose the pigments to paint lively green foliage. You see, the green foliage are actually complex. It's not just one green color, but there is some warm greens and some cold greens because the new leaves are naturally warm, which means it has more yellow to it. And uh, the older leaves are actually has a cooler, uh, which also means it has some blue tones to it. And also the leaves that under the sun are more warm and the leaves that in the shadow are more cold. With that information, we can choose our pigments. So when I paint the green foliage, I don't just use one green, but I will add more yellow to it to warm it up, and then more blue to it to cool it down in the same foliage area. And here is an example. And I put down um, hooker's green first, and then I added some yellow to warm it up, and then some Prussian blue to give it a cooler tone. And add some water to let them run together, and it is just naturally more vibrant than just the one pure green color. Another way to do this is to choose two pigments. One is a warm green, like a sap green I use here. And another is a cool green, like a hooker's green from Daniel Smith I used here. So when you have one cool and one warm green together, you will achieve that liveliness of green foliage. The third tip I want to share with you are the two of my favorite pigments to paint green foliage. And they both have a quite interesting and complex colors by themselves. So when you put these colors, these pigments on the paper, they create such a rich foliage effect. And uh, these two pigments are the Green Appetite Genuine and Cascade Green, both from Daniel Smith. Let me show you. And the first is Green Appetite Genuine. And I will add some water to let the pigments flow. So you will see what happens when it starts to dry. And the next pigment I want to share on the Cascade Green. So you can see the Green Appetite Genuine is actually a warm green. And the Cascade Green is more of a cold green. Look, when I add more water to let the pigment move, and uh, you will see each pigment actually becomes several. And see the Green Appetite Genuine has some brownish green and some like really lemon green in it. And while this cascade green has some turquoise and uh, a little bit of yellow ochre kind of color in it. So these two together are just so gorgeous and has such a richness, which we find in the natural foliage. It's not just one grain. With that, I want to share with you the process of how I paint a flower bouquet. So you will see how I use different pigments to create this lively and rich foliage effect. Please enjoy 
and uh, this is actually part of a demonstration I did in a um, workshop earlier and this workshop is about how to engage uh, your brushes especially with the traditional Chinese brushwork so if you are interested I have the full process and explanation instructions on how to paint this bouquet along with several other uh, very interesting exercise and in a workshop recording it is available for purchase and uh, I will leave the link to the whole workshop below in the description box now please sit back and enjoy this painting process Thank you for watching and happy painting.